What's up, y'all? Another Bible study, Bible reading, 1 Corinthians 2. And when I came to you, brethren, I did not come with superiority of speech or of wisdom, proclaiming to you the testimony of God. For I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. See, He didn't go to them high and mighty, arrogant, thinking he knew better than them. He went to them humble, teaching, teaching them and explaining the gospel of Jesus Christ. I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my message and my preaching were not in persuasive words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith would not rest on the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. See, he came to them humble, speaking the truth, so they wouldn't look up to him like he was something, but only God. Yet we do speak wisdom among those who are mature, those who are grown in the faith, and understand more of the Word of God. A wisdom, however, not of this age, nor of the rulers of this age, who are passing away. But we speak God's wisdom in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God predestined before the ages to our glory. The wisdom which none of the rulers of this age have understood for if they had understood it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But just as it is written, Things which eye has not seen, and ear has not heard, and which have not entered the heart of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. See, we have no idea what God has prepared for us if we love him. I can't even imagine. For to us, God revealed them through the Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit teaches us, reveals things to us in Scripture. Like I'm, I'm amazed at how the Spirit's been revealing some things to me. If you've seen some of my Genesis videos, the types and shadows I've been, been learning. My last one, in particular, Genesis 41. All about Saul, from God writes the end, and from the beginning. It, it's crazy. Everything that's going to happen, he put it in, in the stories of actually what happened in the past. It's only God can do stuff like that. It's unbelievable. For the Spirit searches all things even the depths of God. For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, the thoughts of God, no one knows except the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may, may know things freely given to us by God which things we also speak, not in words taught by human wisdom, but in those taught by the Spirit, combining spiritual thoughts with spiritual words. See, God reveals certain things to us. Like the more we grow in faith and the more we trust in Him, the more we study out the Word of God, He'll start revealing things to us. Every time I read the Bible, I listen to the Bible mostly. I listen on the Bible app. And every time I go back through scriptures for another time, I learn something new. Every time. The Spirit reveals something new to me. Every time I notice something that I didn't notice before. But a natural man does not accept things of the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. And he cannot understand them. 
because they are spiritually appraised. See, if you don't have the Spirit of God, you're not even going to be able to understand those things. But he who is spiritual appraises all things, yet he himself is appraised by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he will instruct, instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. And the Spirit guides us into all truth, into all understanding of God and the ways of God. That's the end of 1 Corinthians 2. God bless you guys.